Hey, here we are on site at our first insurance restoration commercial build. Uh, this project, a metal roofing project, was originally a tile roof. And so I'm on this tour to Florida and we landed the neighboring property. And, uh, you know, ironically, this property right here, it, it's near and dear to my heart because this is what happened. They already had somebody in mind to handle the project. We came in late to the party. And a lot of times when you're going after big jobs, they will tell you, hey, we already got a guy. You see, that's, you got, that's where you gotta be interested. You gotta be interested in people that are not interested. And, and what we did is we continued to ask questions. Hey, did they deliver a completed offer? Did they give you a satellite me roof measurements? What their experience at getting these claims approved? And we really found out that they didn't have the experience we did. They didn't give them that digital analysis. And the way that we won this property is that we, we got on site and we started doing emergency repairs. We, we delivered a quick completed offer report. We gave them a testimonial from a local builder that had our back and immediately we gave them a better plan than the person that they had in mind. So once that happened, they inked the deal. This was our first commercial project that led to many more. What I really am most excited about is my, my good friend Chris O'Brien landing his first large project right next door. And you know, it just goes to show you the power of a network because someone actually reached out to us. And since we'd already replaced this roof, you know, these people had a good visual uh, indicator that we were capable of handling their project right next door. And we had this case study. I always like to sell through my case studies. So when it comes down to it on commercial projects, there's always gonna be multiple contractors. It's not always about the price, it's about the value. And if you're always trying to be the cheapest guy, then you're never gonna separate yourself from the pack. And so the way we separate ourselves from the pack on this one, was how we were getting the roof approved and how we were going through the process. Over next door, when they had a problem with rust, when they had issues that were not really storm related, we tied in storm related damages and got the roof covered so they could use insurance funds to pay for a problem that really was happening due to bad installation. Now, there was hurricane damage on the property next door. Here's the, here's the big, big idea. The big idea is once you land one commercial project, you can spin off of it and use it for case studies to sell lots of projects. So once you get one, the momentum begins. Number two things, on commercial projects, there's always gonna be another contractor. You can't let that stop you. You gotta move forward with the digital analysis, move forward with the completed offer. You've gotta find creative ways to add value that the other contractor didn't think of. And even when you're secured in the bag, like we just got done meeting with the board next door, and there's always gonna be people that come at that last minute and they're gonna offer cheaper bids. People are gonna wonder why you have this contractor in mind that's more expensive. And as long as you sell the value, as long as you build that value, then the people that matter in the deal, the guys that are the decision makers that hold all the weight, they'll have your back. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna share this case study next door. We're gonna show them in our estimate the value of better quality underlayment, the value of a better warranty, the value of having somebody to take care of not just the roof, but the siding, the gutters. These are all things that other roofers didn't introduce. Even though there's people out there, hundreds of thousands of dollars cheaper than us, they didn't tell them to go through the insurance claims process. They didn't get them approved. And so that's why, even though there's other homeowners association board members saying, hey, get more bids, go with the cheaper contractor, we're gonna protect our spot. Not only do we have a letter of intention, but we have uh, an agreement with the customer to do the work for what the insurance company pays. So guys, the lesson here is go big or go home. Don't ever stop persisting, even if they already have a guy. And, and, and keep going, don't stop before the magic happens because once you get one, it can turn into many. It gives you a case study that you can duplicate. And if you're just looking for someone to help you close more commercial deals, you're looking for a company to provide you a vehicle for large commissions. I can tell you that this was a multiple six figure commission, a million dollar project, that one's gonna be a multiple six figure commission. You gotta partner with a, with a contractor that you can trust to deliver on these large projects. Our RCA does commercial, residential, and we know how to help you land the biggest projects in the market. So, you know, we're excited um, to have this opportunity to, to partner with people. And it doesn't matter if you're a roofing contractor, if you're a public adjuster, um, if you're looking to work with a good roofer, we want to help you close commercial deals. We want to help you, um, you know, maybe by sharing references, sharing case studies, collaborates and dominates what we believe in. And that's why the Tour de Florida next stop is gonna be a project in which we've invested in 
and built the roof. We're actually the customer and the builder. And we're gonna show you that on the next clip. Hey everybody, my name is Chris O'Brien with the RRCA. I'm standing here in Ponce Inlet at my first commercial deal over here. It's called the Okamic um, Community. This has been a pretty short but long process. The great thing is it started out as wanting a repair bid. Um, I was able to document enough hurricane damage from the last couple years to get them into a full replacement. So they had zero dollars to start off, only money out of their HOA dues, and then I got them a $1.7 million check to go ahead and allow them to replace the roof and replace the siding due to this uh, the hurricane that came through here the last couple years. The cool thing is, is I've been working with RCA for about eight years now, I haven't really landed a commercial project and got to piggyback off the network that Lee's created here to allow me to pull some strings to generate a report for this insurance company and this law firm to close this deal out pretty quick. Um, the insurance actually denied this roof originally and then we brought in the magical Harvey Cohen to come in here and sweep us along. Once we got Harvey involved in this claim, it took us about three to four months to actually settle it out with a complete check and everything. So um, it's been a great process moving from start to finish. We'll be getting on with this job in the next two months or so. The key thing about this project, guys, is trying to move things along with the insurance company as quick and as expedient as, as possible. What we did here was we documented the claim from start to finish. Um, before we even brought the attorneys in here, we came out with drones. We got on every single one of these roofs and took photos of all the damage. What this did was create a profile for the attorney or the PA that you're working with to allow them to push this through fast, as quick as possible. The problem with a lot of these claims, these big, large losses, is, is they don't have the proper documentation. You hire a lawyer, he's got to hire another guy who's got to hire another guy to come out and do a report. If you can step back and process all of the damage into a proper portfolio and an entire report for the insurance company, for the law firm, for the PA in an expedited manner, it's going to help push this process through quicker. It's going to help you get paid faster. It's going to help your lawyer not have to have so many hiccups throughout the entire process. and It's going to close your deal a lot quicker. So the great thing about this metal roof right here had no missing panels. A lot of people are going to pull up to this project and not really know how to assess proper wind damage. Over here we've got scrapes to the paint. It actually digs into the metal and takes off the paint coating that's supposed to be protecting the metal. So in, upon initial inspection of these roofs, the main thing you can see is a lot of rust damage up here. That was the key contributor to helping get this roof approved actually. Uh, the rust, being that this is a steel roof, has uh, a design so that when, it's get, when the paint gets removed off of the surface, it actually starts to corrode as well. Um, the main issue that brought this full replacement to T is the fact that there is so many many scrapes that is over 25% of this roof coverage. So you're going to bring in the ordinance and law and you're going to bring in the damage to the roof itself. The scrapes to the paint actually dig deep into the metal so that it starts rusting all over the entire roof system. Uh, once the roof starts rusting, at that point the only way to do a proper repair is by going in and removing the entire panel or going over with, an, uh, with a coating. Those options, when you're looking for a cash bid, aren't exactly what you're going to be looking for. Um, with this, we got the insurance to cover all the scrapes and all the wind-driven debris damage even though there are no panels missing.